Hello, I'm Dr. Sugar, your internet doctor, here to give you your dose of medical inspiration for the day. Thank you for joining us. Our topic is flu shot contraindications. So let's get started, shall we? Should you get the flu shot? Should your kids get the flu shot? And should grandma get the flu shot? Today we're gonna talk about who should get the flu shot and who should not get the flu shot. The key facts you should know about the seasonal flu vaccine. According to the CDC or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the single best way to protect against the flu is to get vaccinated each year. So there's two types of vaccines that we're gonna talk about. The first is the flu shot. Now the flu shot is an inactivated vaccine that contains killed virus. It's generally given with a needle, usually in the arm, and the flu shot is approved it's approved for use in people older than six months, and you can give it to healthy people or even people with chronic medical conditions. So in general, you can give the flu shot to, to anybody and everybody. Little babies have to have two of them. Other people just get one. The nasal spray is a second kind of flu vaccine that we're gonna talk about, and this vaccine is made with live, weakened flu viruses that do not cause the flu. Sometimes this is called LAIV, which stands for Live Attenuated Influenza Vaccine. The trade name is Flumist. Now, Live Attenuated Influenza Vaccine, or Flumist, is approved for use in healthy people only, and for people who are from two years old to 49 years old, and it cannot be given in pregnant women. So there's a few more uh, things that you need to avoid if you're gonna try to do the Flumist. Each vaccine contains three influenza viruses. Now these viruses in the vaccine change every year based on international surveillance and scientists' estimations about which types and strains of viruses will circulate in a given year. So the flu shot this year is different from the flu shot that we got last year. And they decide at the beginning of each year what they're gonna put in each flu shot. Interesting stuff, huh? So about two weeks after vaccination, Antibodies that provide protection against influenza virus infection, they develop in the body. So after you get your flu shot, it takes about two weeks before you really start developing any immunity. So you should be sure to get your flu shot before people start getting flu in your community. Which brings us to when should you get vaccinated? The CDC again recommends that yearly flu vaccination should begin in September or as soon as vaccine is available. And then we should continue offering it throughout the influenza season. This is because the timing and duration of influenza season varies around the country and from year to year. Now, while influenza outbreaks can happen as early as October, most of the time influenza activity peaks in January or even later. So who should get vaccinated? In general, anyone who wants to reduce their chances of getting the flu can get vaccinated. So if you just don't wanna get sick and don't wanna take a chance of getting the flu, it's fine for you to get a vaccination. However, it is recommended by the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, the ACIP, that certain people each year should definitely get vaccinated. They are either people who are at high risk of having serious flu complications or people who live with or care for those at high risk for serious complications. During flu seasons, when vaccine supplies are limited or delayed, the ACIP makes recommendations regarding priority groups for vaccination. People who should get vaccinated each and every year are children age six months up to their 19th birthday, pregnant women, people 50 years of age and older, and people of any age with certain chronic medical conditions. These are people who live in nursing homes and other long-term care facilities as well. Also people who live with or care for those at risk or high risk for complications from the clue. Editing in. People who live with or care for those at high risk of complications from the flu. These would include healthcare workers, household contacts of persons at high risk for complications from the flu, and household contacts and out-of-home caregivers of children less than six months of age. Remember, kids under age six months are too young to be vaccinated. 
I'm Dr. Sugar, and I'm going to continue our discussion on influenza in part two of our series. I would like to discuss the recommendations for who should not get the flu vaccine. Be sure to watch, and I'll see you there. Sugar.